Level 1. The Awareness Trap You're lying in bed, eyes closed. Your mind snaps awake, sharp, conscious, but something's off. You try to move, to stretch, your body doesn't respond. This is sleep paralysis. During REM sleep, your brain releases chemicals that literally switch off your muscles, keeping you from acting out your dreams. Sleep paralysis happens when your mind wakes up before your body does, leaving you trapped between two worlds. You're conscious, you can think clearly, but your body is unresponsive, completely beyond your control. Your breathing quickens, you try to call out, but even your voice feels stuck in your throat. The panic sets in fast. Why can't I move? What's happening to me? Then, just as suddenly, it breaks. Your fingers twitch, your body responds again, and you're gasping awake, heart racing, confused and terrified. And you're not alone. Studies show nearly 1 in 13 people will face this locked-in moment at least once in their lifetime. For most people, this is where it stops. The paralysis lasts anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. But for some people, it doesn't stop there. It gets even darker. Level 2. The Shadow Watcher You see them, dark shapes, shadows, moving in your vision just beyond your line of sight. You try to focus on them, but the moment you do, they shift, they slip away. Are they moving, or is your mind just filling in the gaps? You can't tell anymore. Your brain is caught between sleep and waking. Stuck in REM intrusion, the state when dreamlike brain activity leaks into wakefulness while your body stays paralyzed. Your visual cortex is firing, generating images your paralyzed mind interprets as completely real. You can't move to verify what you're seeing. You can't rationalize it away or turn your head to prove it's not there. So your brain believes it. The shadows feel as real as the walls around you, lingering at the edges of your vision. Watching. Across cultures, these figures have names. The hat man, the shadow people. In studies, humanoid shadows are the most commonly reported sleep paralysis, hallucinations worldwide. Level 3. The Chest Demon A weight crashes down on your chest. It's not a gradual pressure. It's sudden, like someone or something just sat down directly on top of you. Your lungs feel compressed. Your breath comes in short, panicked gasps. You try to inhale deeply, but the pressure won't let you. It's holding you down. You want to scream, but you can't get enough air. Your brain is generating false sensations, phantom pressure on your chest, the feeling of suffocation. It's called hypnagogic hallucination. While your body is still paralyzed, your sensory cortex misfires. It tells you something is pressing down on you and that you're choking. These sensations are more common in people with anxiety, stress, or sleep deprivation. That's when your nervous system is already on edge, waiting for danger. This exact sensation is known as the incubus phenomenon, a term scientists use to describe the crushing weight or suffocation many experience during sleep paralysis. The panic reaches a peak you've never felt before. Your heart is hammering. Level 4. The Intruder A door creaks slowly, like someone is opening it inch by inch, careful not to make too much noise, but you already heard it. Footsteps, heavy, getting closer to your bed. You can't turn your head to see who or what is in your room, but you can hear them. They're breathing, shallow, right beside you. They're standing over your bed. You can feel their presence, not touching you, but close enough that you can sense them there, watching, waiting. This is auditory and tactile hallucination. Your brain is generating sounds and sensations that feel absolutely real. Your temporal lobe is misfiring, creating the perception of a threat in your room. It feels like someone actually broke into your home. It feels more real than anything you've ever experienced. This intruder feeling is called 
the sensed presence phenomenon. It happens when the part of your brain that tracks your body in space starts misfiring. Your mind loses its sense of boundaries and mistakes its own signals for someone else's. Across history, this exact hallucination was interpreted as demonic visitation, the old hag, witches, or spirits pressing on sleepers in the night, centuries before science gave it a name. People experiencing this usually report dealing with severe stress or trauma, or if they've already experienced the first three levels repeatedly. Level 5. The Dream Bleed. You sense you've woken up. You're sitting up in bed, feeling relieved. It's over. You escaped. But something's wrong. Your body still won't move. You're still paralyzed. And that's when it hits you. You're not awake. You're still dreaming, still trapped. But you can't tell the difference anymore. Your mind is caught between two states simultaneously. You're partially dreaming, partially conscious. Your brain is stuck in REM sleep while being awake neither fully taking over. This is false awakening combined with sleep paralysis. You dream of waking up, but your body is still locked in REM. You can't reality test your way out because you genuinely feel awake. You can try to pinch yourself, but it doesn't work. You're trapped in a loop, over and over, paralyzed, confused, unable to distinguish what's real. Neuroscientists describe this as a dissociated state, your brain literally running the waking and dreaming systems at once, causing the most vivid and terrifying false awakenings ever recorded. And after around 20 minutes in complete terror, finally, it breaks. Your eyes snap open, your body responds, you're gasping, drenched in sweat, your heart racing. You're awake and safe but you'll never forget what it felt like to lose your grip on reality. While 8 to 15% of people experience sleep paralysis at some point, less than 1% of the population reach level 5. Most people with regular sleep paralysis never reach this stage. It's more common in people with narcolepsy, severe insomnia, or those who practice lucid dreaming. It can also happen after repeated episodes of the previous levels, when your nervous system gets stuck between sleep and wake states. Extreme stress and trauma increase the likelihood, as do certain sleep disorders. Those who experience it report it as the most psychologically disorienting moment of their life. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you might also want to check out my video on levels of nightmares.